places can become abandoned for many reasons, whether it's due to loss of business, eviction, or darker reasons such as murders. Regardless of the reason, these places can be interesting and sometimes scary. Here are 10 abandoned places with creepy backstories. First up at number 10 is the Metropolitan State Hospital. Asylums can be some of the creepiest places, and the Metropolitan State Hospital for the Mentally Ill in Massachusetts is definitely one of them. Founded in 1927, it was one of the largest mental facilities in Massachusetts. While the hospital mainly closed down in 1992 because of the state-cutting costs to mental hospitals, it also had a history of violence that harmed its reputation. Patients would sometimes get aggressive, and one named Melvin Wilson killed another patient, Anne Marie Davy, in 1978. He chopped her body and buried the parts in three separate graves and kept seven of her teeth as a souvenir. The Asylum Cemetery still rests on the facility's grounds today. Number 9. Moonville Tunnel Railroad The Moonville Tunnel was built in Moonville, Ohio when the landowner offered a shortcut to the rail company by building a track to Cincinnati. The railway around the tunnel was extremely dangerous and caused several deaths. Since it was a much quicker shortcut than walking all the way around the valley, at least five people died by being hit by trains while walking along the tracks. The tracks were above a high canyon, so people couldn't just go off to the side if there was a train coming. The tracks are now abandoned, except for the ghost that haunts it. There are several stories about the ghost, but most agree with the fact that he was killed by a train. He waved his lantern in an attempt to get the train to stop, but it was too late. The man is said to haunt the tracks now and still wave his lantern. Number 8. Blue Ghost Tunnel The Meriton Tunnel, better known as the Blue Ghost Tunnel, was built in 1876 in Ontario, Canada. There have been several fatal accidents at the site, including a 14-year-old boy getting crushed by a rock and a head-on train collision, which is the story behind the tunnel's nickname. The two train conductors both died in the collision in 1903. One had become mangled and died in the boiler after rescuers attempted to pull him free, but his legs came off. The other died while suffering burns to 90% of his body. People who had gone into the tunnel after that claimed to see a blue mist, which they believed to be the ghosts of the two men. The tunnel became abandoned in 1915 and is now walled up. Sounds like for good reason, too. Number 7. Los Feliz Murder Mansion On December 6, 1959, Dr. Harold Perelson bludgeoned his wife to death with a hammer and then beat his 18-year-old daughter. He then committed suicide by drinking a glass of acid. Upon the discovery of the murders, Perelson's two younger children were removed from the property and the house was locked up and became abandoned. Since then, two people have owned the property but never lived in it. Potential buyers have since offered millions of dollars for the house, but it's now off the market. The inside of the house looks like it's frozen in time to that horrific night. Next at number 6 is the Topeka State Hospital. Named out of the city it's located in, Topeka, Kansas, this hospital for the mentally ill has a long history of abuse towards its patients. It was in operation from 1872 to 1997. There were reports made about patients being raped and neglected, and they were often left confined in chains for extensive periods of time. In 1992, patient Kenneth Waddell attacked and killed one of the therapists, Stephanie Ulrich. Her body was later found in one of the hospital's bathrooms. The facility was forced to close in 1997 and has been abandoned ever since. Number 5. Island of the Dolls In Mexico City, there is a deserted island filled with broken dolls known as the Island of the Dolls. The island's caretaker discovered the body of a dead girl in the canal that bordered the island. Because of this, he started collecting dolls and would hang them from trees and walls of the place in order to please the girl's spirit. We know it was just supposed to be a nice gesture, but it makes for a pretty frightening scene. To make things even creepier, the man was found dead in 2001 in the exact same spot he claimed to have found the girl. Number 4. Trenton State Hospital Originally named New Jersey State Lunatic Asylum, the Trenton State Hospital was founded in 1848, making it one of the oldest buildings on this list. This hospital built for the mentally ill patients is known for its medical abuse. The medical director, Dr. Henry Cotton, believed infections were the reason for mental illness, so he removed the teeth and other body parts that could potentially become infected from the patients. Even after Cotton left in 1933, these practices were still the norm until around 1960. Some parts of the building are still in use, but the majority is abandoned and hasn't been touched in years. Number 3. Chernobyl I think many people already know the story about the Chernobyl disaster, but that doesn't make it any less interesting and terrifying. In what was once part of the USSR, the Chernobyl nuclear power plant exploded during an emergency shutdown of the reactor while undergoing a power failure experiment. The accident was classified as a level 7 event, the highest and worst level. 31 staff members and emergency workers died from the explosion directly, and as of 2008, a total of 64 people died from radiation after the accident. The area has been deemed unlivable and is now desolate and abandoned. 
Number 2. Whittingham Hospital Located in Britain, Whittingham Hospital was once the largest mental institution in the country. The hospital opened in 1873 and is another facility on this list to have a string of scandals. There have been so many different reports about ways patients have been treated poorly under the care of the staff. Patients were locked outside regardless of the weather, as well as being locked inside bathrooms and storage rooms. Patients reported seeing others getting dragged by their hair by the staff. In one word, patients were giving a wet towel treatment, which was described as a twisted, cold, wet towel being wrapped around the patient's neck until they lost consciousness. In another ward, nurses poured alcohol into male patient slippers and dressing gowns and then lit them on fire. Thankfully, this hospital closed down in 1995. The events that happened here are disturbing, making the building even creepier to look at. Finally, at number one, we have the Inn at Buckhill Falls. The Inn at Buckhill Falls used to be a beautiful and fun resort in the Poconos in Pennsylvania. Built in 1901, this large resort had 400 rooms, a golf course, horseback riding, indoor and outdoor pools, a theater, tennis courts, and many other exciting activities. The Inn did well and had great business for decades until around the 70s and 80s. Later in the 1990s, the inn was closed after the owner's wife became ill. She was put in a psychiatric ward and the staff announced that the inn would be closing. All guests checked out and everything seemed pretty much frozen in time. Beds were made, towels, soap, and other basic items were left as is. In 2000, the abandoned inn was featured on an episode of MTV's Fear. The show made questionable claims such as the inn being the site of suicides and 73 murders. The owner of the inn has said that he believes MTV had no intentions of portraying the inn accurately. So, while there's no proof that the century-old inn is haunted, many believe it is due to the episode's popularity. And plus, it really does look pretty creepy. Which of these abandoned places would you like to explore? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and make sure you subscribe to the list of it.